We are glad to welcome you on a hard reset YouTube channel. In today's video, I will show how you can set this MyBeo D100 IP camera up, link it with your phone, and pretty much prepare this camera for use. So to start, you will need to take the power cord, the charging wire, and supply your camera with power since, well, it doesn't run on batteries, it runs on the direct electricity. So put the uh, charging brick into your socket, well, not your, but just some socket. Then this micro USB goes into the uh, slot on the back of the camera here, so insert it. So now the camera gets booted up and it usually requires about 15 to 20 seconds to wake itself up, configure itself, you know, look at its uh, surroundings and etc. So let's allow some time for this camera to perform all those necessary stuff to wake itself up, to move around. And you know that this process is finished and you can continue when you see that this red status light blinks slowly. That means that we can proceed now. What you need to do, uh, I would actually recommend uh, if you got this camera uh, secondhand or it's been used before you bought it, it's not like brand new, you can also before setting it up, you can hard reset the camera. In order to do that, take some kind of needle or injection tool, find the SD card slot right at the bottom of this bowl or sphere and um, well, on top of it, well not on top of it, above it rather, you'll find a very very tiny hole, here it is. So put your needle or injection tool inside, press until you hear a click and now wait for the camera to be reset, which you'll know it happened by these two blinking sounds we just heard. So. Uh, now take your phone, in my case that's an iPhone, but it doesn't matter whether yours is uh, iPhone or Android, the process will be somewhat identical. Now, um, first, that first step that you gotta do is to connect your phone to a Wi-Fi network and it's crucially important that you connect yourself to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network, since if the Wi-Fi network will have uh, 5 gigahertz frequency, this setup will not work. This camera does not support the 5 giga gigahertz Wi-Fi. So make sure that whatever Wi-Fi network you're connected to is uh, <coughs> 2.4G. Mine is 5G, so I will need to reconnect myself to another network. So that's what I'm going to do now. Once this step is out of the way, open the IPC360 app. By the way, we have a whole separate video about how you can download and install this app as well as create an account. So if you have problems with, well, app or account, make sure to check those videos out. Now, once the, once the app is launched, open the devices section. Next step at this plus button here. Your location is Poland, that's correct. Or you can change your region, region if your location is uh, incorrect. Uh, now uh, grant this app with all the permission it requires, since if it will not have some permissions, it will not be able to uh, successfully set up the camera. So here, uh, it also reminds you that your Wi-Fi network has to be 2.4G, 2.4 gigahertz in frequency. Here, tap at the camera. Now there are two setup modes you can use, either smart or wireless mode, as it is uh, called in the manual, or wired mode. 99% um, of you will probably go with the Wi-Fi setup, so will I, since the wired setup is way easier and requires less things to be completed. So anyway, so here is the smart mode. Now it says that you need to plug in the camera and confirm that the camera indicator light is flashing red slowly or blinking red slowly. Check. Here, if you are experiencing any issues at this stage, you can well um, get yourself uh, acquainted with those instructions here. So let's tap at the next button. Now input the uh, password of the Wi-Fi network you will connect this IP camera through. 
So input the password. And now wait until the device configuration is finished. It can take anywhere between like 20, 30 seconds up to a minute. Make sure that your sound is enabled also. Because as you can see, it will uh, produce those beeps that are going to help you to set everything up. So make sure to unmute the app sound here. So as you could have heard, the doorbell ring, uh, the, the doorbell sound rang. So now we can tap over here and within Within a few seconds, I would assume the setup should be finished. So let's wait now. Maybe it has some remaining configurations to make. So sometimes you just gotta be patient and wait for this process to finish. So let me do that myself and simply wait. So, as we can see, the setup failed uh, for some reason, uh, but that's completely normal. Well, I was testing this uh, IP camera yesterday. Um, I've gotten a bunch of those failed configurations. So, well, just restart the process. Uh, do the same. Actually, let me check if my Wi-Fi password is correct. Well, it should be. Yeah. So let's just repeat this procedure. It says that the Wi-Fi password is wrong, so I've probably gotten, I mean, inputted the wrong password. So let me quickly uh, <laughs> uh, fix this issue and get back to you guys. Oh, I see my uh, mistake now. So, uh, well, I have accidentally entered the first H as capital H, but the password requires the smaller version of it, so let's do everything once again. And this time the setup should succeed. <laughs> so the status light is once again green. The, camera ready. as you could have heard, the camera is ready. The connection and setup both were successful. So now you gotta um, choose a name for your camera. I'll just name it, I know, ID camera. Now select the, uh, or you can uh, choose one of the suggested names. I'll, I'll go with dining room, whatever. Now you uh, need to create the navigation picture so the camera will make the 100, 180 degrees turn around the room to check its surroundings and remember them. And in the future, you'll have this reference image and you can like tap anywhere at this image. Let's say this is your room and the camera will focus and point its uh, lens towards the zone you have tapped on. So if you want to see this side of your room, you can tap over here and the camera will move towards the zone that you've chosen. So let's allow the camera to create the navigation picture. So let's wait, I guess. So as you can clearly see, those navigation reference pictures are getting created. Even gotten my jacket <laughs> into the frame. So let's wait for this process to finish. 
it will take the grand total of 21 screenshots or images. As you can see, it continues still. So that's how the uh, real navigation picture looks like. I mean, it's not perfect, but it will do. And well, uh, at this point, the camera has been set up successfully, as you can see. So I guess that will do it for this video. Or actually, before I go, let me quickly show how this navigation picture actually works. So if I want to see this part of the room, I'll just step over here and the camera will turn towards it, as I've already said. Or if, you're, if I want to point camera at me, I can do that. And as you can see, hello, it will. Anyway, that will be it for this video, guys. So thanks for watching. Thanks for your attention and bye-bye.